Developing tonight, at least eight schools across Mich Michigan were the targets of swatting incidents today. Those are prank calls making very serious claims to law enforcement to get a reaction. Several agencies are now investigating. Across the state in Jackson, Okemos, Detroit, and Ann Arbor all receive reports of violence. We start tonight in Ann Arbor, where police rush to Huron High School to investigate. CBS News Detroit's Andres Gutierrez is live well, tonight in case, on Fuller Road with that the there latest. had been a shooting in room 99. Only thing, that room doesn't even exist here at Huron High School. According to Ann Arbor Police, the caller told the 911 dispatcher that they were a teacher at the school and that a student had shot another student then hung up the phone. Within minutes, police showed up and did a walkthrough of the school with staff and didn't find anything, but students seeing officers in tactical gear patrolling the hallways made for some frightening moments out here. Because I saw police come to the school outside. What's happening? Because we had a lockdown um, earlier this school year about, and it was like the same thing. That's how I felt. So I was confused. I was like, are we having another lockdown? That student went on to say that the teacher did not address the situation. The FBI is assisting state and lo uh, local law enforcement to determine who made this call in the first place. The state attorney general did take the time to remind people today that communicating a threat of terrorism is a 20 year felony. Calling a bomb threat carries a four year felony and you could spend up to six months in jail for the malicious use of a telecommunications device. Reporting live tonight in Ann Arbor, I'm Andres Gutierrez, CBS News, Detroit. All right, thank you, Andres. Continuing our team coverage tonight, a swatting call also impacted Renaissance High School in Detroit, forcing the school to go into a soft lockdown after a fake threat was made there as well. CBS News Detroit's Ray Strickland joins us live from that school on Outer Drive. And Ray, I know you spoke with a teacher today. What did he have to say? Yeah, the teacher I spoke to told me that this situation was very personal for him because he says that many of his students have been impacted by gun violence and pranks of this nature only triggers various emotions for them. Now, thankfully, this was fake, but of course, it was still very scary for those students, teachers, and parents as well. I'm a unit again at five DTB units at that location. The call first came in to Detroit police around 845 in the morning. You got DPD walking in now. Claims of an active shooter at Renaissance High School, but after Detroit Public School Police searched the building, placing it on a soft lockdown, law enforcement quickly realized that call was a prank. This is going to be a possible prank call. I would say that as an educator, it's a terrifying feeling to feel. But Renaissance High School teacher Willie King says the emotions of such a threat can feel very real for teachers, students, and parents. Um, for it to be a call or a prank um, with such a serious matter um, around shooting, shootings that's been going on in the nation, shootings that's been going on around Michigan, with this being an ongoing situation, it's traumatic both for our students, our teachers, our administrators. The authorities are reminding residents that false threats and hoax calls are a crime and whoever makes them will be held accountable. Meanwhile, King says he hopes the person who did this will be found, adding such calls are no joking matter. For me being a resident of not this District 2, but being a resident of District 1 um, and having people who have lost their life due to gun violence or have been victims of gun violence, um, playing around and joking around about guns is not a laughing matter in no way, shape, or form. It's definitely something that should not be used as a prank. And just remember, the, just remember these swatting calls are only wasting valuable police resources, taking them away from something serious they can be responding to. So again, I don't even need to remind you of this, but do not make these type of calls. But if you do, just know you will likely pay the price. Jeff, Shana. And Ray, as authorities are investigating, do they have any leads yet as to who might be behind these calls? So good question, Shane. I did speak to the chief of Detroit Public Schools Police who told me that whoever made this call had the number uh, or I should say got the number from, a, from WhatsApp. And uh, police told me that they were able to connect the call that was made here at Renaissance to other calls, swatting calls that were made at other area districts. So, yes, they do have some leads. We don't know the person just yet. But in due time, they probably will find them. Shana. All right, good to know. All right, Ray Strickland live outside Renaissance High School tonight in Detroit. Thank you, Ray.